This is really cool. Yeah, this showed up the other day um, as I was going through things down at the, actually at the ambulance headquarters. And, you know, I'm, I'm planning to do a, a series of videos or one longer video about dad's experiences in, in World War II. And, and since I first made a little video saying I was going to do that, I found other things and things that are just, I didn't know he had things that were in the family archives as we went through mom and dad's house to turn it into the ambulance headquarters we found all kinds of things we found other copies of his letters from lieutenant joseph Lane, a soldier in world war ii all of his letters i found uh, snapshots of course most taken after the war during uh, occupation of, of germany after the war was over but with a lot of pictures with with different guys in it and his notations about you know who they were and that sort of thing but then the thing that really got me was I came across this book and I found it and he had given it to somebody to look at with a little note that said, please return it to me. And, but I thought you might find it interesting and I thought, okay, this looks good. It's called Scholars in Foxholes. What it is, is the story of Army Specialized Training Program in World War II, which is basically, my dad was an ASTP guy and they put him in there and they were sort of going to college and he wasn't sure he was ever going to really end up overseas. And one of the pictures he had marked, and I thought this was cool, is a picture of him in the band. There he is in the band. Now this of course is before he went over to Germany. It says front, front row top Private Joseph O'Lane. So he's, he's right there playing in the band. Then he had another spot marked here. And I thought, son of a gun, there's my dad. There he is, right here. Lieutenant Joseph O'Lane, shown with an equally hap happy Lieutenant John Pappy de Grove. And I remember dad talked about Pappy de Grove all the time, just after the end of the war. My dad, it says, was among the first ASTP people to win a battlefield commission. And then over here on the other page, it has the full description of how he also uh, one in his Silver Star for Gallantry in Action, and it has a description of that. And when I do the full video, I'll, I'll probably share that and read that. But I thought that was pretty cool. My dad never showed this to me. I never knew he had this. You know, he did. It was here, though. It was in, it was in his stuff, and it was just really cool. And then this was interesting because I had met Howard Brody, the artist. This was the fellow that was the, the, the pencil artist for Yank Magazine, and he drew uh, drew during, all during World War II, and then he, he also drew in Korea, and uh, he did the Watergate drawings. And I met Howard Brody, and he was a great guy, and, and I couldn't find this book, and I finally did find it. It was a picture that was actually my dad, one of his luckier times, as he always said, when he stepped in a circle of mines that went off, and it blew him straight up in the air, and he was unconscious for a while and woke up hours later tearing down a German flag in a little town. Um, but that was actually him. That was the, he's the one that was going up in the air, but he was exactly in the middle, so he ended up really unscathed. But yeah, a lot of, lot of really interesting things uh, about, about Dad. And uh, again, uh, I plan to do a, a pretty much in-depth uh, video about uh, what he told me and what he wrote, and I've also found some videos too that he did. So again, uh, it's coming. It's just, it's become a little bit more involved and a little more complicated than I thought it was when I first had the idea. Mm -hmm.